Hello from Myrtle Beach. We are at Broadway at the beach. We're gonna give you a tour around and show you what is new right now. Hi, I'm Carmen and we hope you enjoy this video. If you do, we hope you'll give it a like. We're right here at Ripley's Aquarium to start out our walk around Broadway to check out what's going on. And towards the end of this video, definitely stay tuned. We're gonna talk about some of the new construction here at Broadway at the beach and some of the things that are coming very, very soon. Right over there, you've got the beautiful Ferris wheel. And we've got a lot of helicopter tours going over today. It's been nonstop. It's that time of the year where we've got a lot of helicopter tours. The boat rides are going on. We've seen lines all day for the boat tours. Those are a lot of fun. So if you're not familiar with Broadway at the Beach, they have a lot of entertainment, a lot of restaurants, and they also have some shows and rides. So there's a lot to do here at Broadway at the Beach. Right now we're in one of the shopping areas. You've got Palometto Paradise, which is mostly a t-shirt shop and also some gifts. And you've got Splash Fresh Bath and Body. The t-shirt connection, more t-shirts. And the Smoky Mountain Handmade Knives Shop, that took over where the Yankee Candle Company used to be. And that is a fairly new store, it opened last year. Sand and Sun, comfortable footwear. Designer sunglasses, Maxi Electronics, and one of our favorites, got retroactive for the 70s and the 80s. They've got all kinds of memorabilia. Definitely a great store to check out. After Ben and Jerry's, we've got Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. It's a very large two-story restaurant. So you can tell there are a lot of people out enjoying Broadway at the beach. This evening it is a beautiful evening here to walk around. Lots of people waiting to get into the kitchen it looks like. A lot of people standing around waiting on their reservation. We do have a couple of tips with that. It does take a while to get into some of the dining establishments here at Broadway at the Beach. So we recommend getting here early if you want to get a seat sooner. So whether it's for lunch or dinner, try to get there early. There's Krabby Jack's General Store. And Frappa Joe, which in addition to coffee, they have fun pineapple drinks. And Jester's Jewels is new that just opened this year, so definitely check that out. They've got all kinds of accessories as well as some interesting geodes and other things. It's definitely an eclectic shop. We've got Toys Asaurus, the stupid factory. What is your favorite store? at Broadway at the Beach, let us know in the comments. We're just curious where you like to shop, what you find fun. Or if it's not just one store, what stores draw you to Broadway at the Beach? We've got The Fudgery, Claire's, Caraloha, and Del Sol. And by the way, Caraloha, we just went on a cruise and a lot of the Caribbean islands have that shop as well. And we just thought it was kind of funny because we have a couple of them here in Myrtle Beach. There's actually one at Barefoot Landing as well. So we, we couldn't imagine going all the way to the Caribbean and shopping there. We've got ride makers. Up here in this section, there are a few restaurants that have closed and they didn't close recently either. We've got Key West Grill, which closed a while back. We don't know what's coming there. And then over there, the blue building you see ahead, that used to be Johnny Rockets, but it has also closed and we still haven't heard what's replacing that. Rooster's Restaurant and Bar closed for a while, but now they are back open, certain times of the day. We are now entering what is known as sort of the Avenue District at Broadway at the Beach. It's what I would call the restaurant and bar and entertainment district. In addition to what we just showed, you've got O'Charlie's, you've got Senior Frogs, you've got Hard Rock Cafe, and the American Tap House. 
there's one of the helicopter tours I mentioned that are going non-stop today. It's a busy day. So here you go. Here's a good list of everything that the Avenue has to offer, including some really loud music over at Hard Rock. And we've been to Hard Rock, it's good, and Wahlburgers as well. And we've got some exciting news down here towards the end of the avenue that we want to share with you. So there's Crocodile Rock's Dueling Piano Bar, Bar Louie. Of course, Dave and Buster's, which I think we're going to take a peep into while we're here. And then down here on the corner on the right is Charles Box Wonders Theater. We do have videos of both his show as well as a behind the scenes video. I will link those in the description below. He is actually opening or has already opened in April and he will be running, I think through the end of the year. Definitely check his website for details. Uh, we really, really enjoyed the show. So we highly recommend it. Uh, definitely check that out. So let's take a peek inside of Dave and Buster's and see what's going on. All right, Dave and Buster's is packed tonight. It is a full house. Lots of people enjoying all the games here. In addition to a lot of video games, they also have a full restaurant and bar area as well. And then back out in the main section, you got Fat Tuesday. And also the ice cream candy up there. That is a fairly new establishment opened last year. Let's head into ice cream candy and see what they have inside. Here we are at King Kong Sushi. So what's your favorite time to come to Broadway at the beach? And what percentage of your vacation would you say you spend hanging out at Broadway at the beach? Do you just come in the evenings? Do you come during the day? Do you like to stay at Broadway? Do you like to stay at the beach? They have done a lot of renovations. You see, you can see they're renovating over there, but they also have all these really cool palm trees that they've added with this planter here. And they've also added this new pavement over here in front of Ron John's Surf Shop. Really cool. So there is Ron John's, which they're also renovating right now. And then over here, they've also improved the pavement. We've got Extreme Pizza, Landry's, and also the Mirror Maze. Oh, here's that lovely lake and unfortunately someone is stuck on the zip line that happens once in a while but they always reel them in so don't worry they will make it in eventually and also they've got the speedboats going out there in the middle that person's definitely not stuck they are going fast over here on this side they have these swan paddle boats which is fun for this little section over here between Landry's and Wonderworks. All right, they have brought someone out to pull the person in that was stuck on the zip line. I think this is the first time we've ever seen this. They're usually able to get them in without actually sending a person, but here we go. This is Wonderworks, and it's sort of a entertainment slash edutainment place, and it's a lot of fun. We've been there before. Now we're coming up to Pavilion West, which is one of the ride areas at Broadway at the beach. Got the main Ferris wheel here, which looks really amazing. Here's a better shot of the Ferris wheel just to show you how big it is. It is really tall. We did ride this Ferris wheel. I will put a link to that in the description below. It's a lot of fun. Definitely recommend it. You got amazing views of Broadway and of a lot of Myrtle Beach. It's really, really neat. There's also a lot of family friendly rides in this area. You've got these little cute balloons. Myrtle Turtle, which is a roller coaster for kids. The classic carousel, a drop tower, but it's, it's a low drop tower. And the scrambler type ride, a swing type ride. Lots of fun over here. We've got the Kentucky Mist Distillery, which is fairly new. The Man Cave Store. Master's Edition Fine Art Gallery. Also, we have a Grumpy Monk, 
they're a restaurant but also a bar and they just got named the best place to eat at Broadway at the beach by locals. Inside the Grumpy Monk they have this really really cool fountain and it's a large restaurant and bar. We have a review on this. I'll link that in the description below. This is the social coffee shop. This replaced the Starbucks that used to be here at Broadway at the beach. I like their layout a lot better so if you're looking for your coffee fix I definitely recommend checking them out. Yeah. Bird's Famous Cookies is fairly new. They opened last year. Then we got retroactive with the 90s and 2000s and today. Lots of nostalgia, sort of gift items or items for yourself. It's sugar is a lot of fun. We're not going to go in there today, but it's a lot like that other candy store we showed, only a little bit bigger. They've got a lot of retro nostalgia candy. You've also got the mole hole, Quiet Storm, and Build a Bear. And then now this is Pavilion Central with the rides. This has the more extreme thrill rides as well as a few family friendly rides. Let's check it out. continuing our evening here a little more of its sugar sunglass hot pop land and fresh up waffles and smoothies here we've got the crock store the fudgery sweet carolinas and then a favorite of a lot of you yamoto we've got sweet carolinas Cliggs heights sweet molly's creamery and here's Tiki Gems gift shop. It's a really large gift shop. Got heroes and villains up here on the right. And here's Joe's Crab Shack. We really enjoy this restaurant and we have a review of it. I will link it in the description below. Here's the Simpsons 40 Theater. If you are a Simpsons fan, that's probably a great show. We have not been to it, but also the Quickie Mart is awesome and it is free. It's basically their gift shop but it's themed after the Quickie Mart. They have Slurpees, they have everything that you would associate it. Uh, Lad Lard Donuts, it's really, really cute inside. And then we assume this is a new show that's coming. It's the Anthems of Rock. It does look pretty intriguing because they have Queen, Rolling Stones, Bon Jovi, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, Aerosmith, Chicago, and more. So uh, I think that would be an interesting show that's new this year. And then this is the most exciting new stuff that's coming to Broadway at the Beach. This is the Hangout straight ahead, this white building. It's going to be a restaurant, bar, entertainment venue. They have all kinds of stuff going on. It is a chain, so there are existing Hangouts that are out there, so you can look it up. And a lot of people are really, really excited about that. Those of you who said you have been to one said it's a lot of fun. And as you can see, they are still working on the construction, but they are making a lot of progress. As you can see, they've got a lot of the exterior done already for the Hangout. And now we have a bird's eye view of the construction of the Hangout and the Key West shops. Uh, they are working nonstop. This is a Saturday and they are actively working as you can see so i think they will have this open sooner rather than later also from up here you can see the amphitheater they're building quite well the stage is right there and a front view of what it's going to look like it's going to be right here on the water which is really cool then they have this amphitheater and they also have the key west shops which are these shops right over in here. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.